G'day guys, I've just bought a little 12 foot sailing boat uh, to teach the kids to sail and one of the oars has split and fallen apart here, that piece has come right off and this other side is uh, splitting down to about there and that's going to come off pretty soon as well. So I'm going to fix that up today with epoxy glue, seal it all up with epoxy and uh, give it a paint. So I'm just using a, a 60 grit sandpaper, get rid of all the old glue and roughen up the surface so that the glue has something to key into. Now this piece here is split as well but I've tried to pull that off and it won't come so and it's not going to come cleanly it's going to split up the side I think so what I'll do is just open up the split and force some epoxy glue in there so I'm just using a 4 to 1 epoxy I just want to wet everything to start with, get it all soaked in and then we can come in with the glue. Now I'll mix up some glue powder, which is fumed silica, so you just mix it in there and it makes it glue. You don't want to breathe it in, it's um, quite bad for your lungs, so I'll put a mask on now. Let's see if we can squeeze it in there. I gave the ore a good wash before I did this just to get any salt water off it and then let them dry in the sun for a day. That's pretty well filled up with glue now. So just build up a little bit on the end there, just to give it a bit more durability. Force the glue into all the little gaps here. Not the best clamps for the job, but um, they, should, they should be okay once I've got everything set. Yeah, right, that feels pretty good. All the edges are lined up. We'll just wipe off all the excess uh, epoxy. So we'll just leave that to set. That's been drying for a day, so that's pretty solid now. Can't move it at all. Alright, I started sanding back the loose paint, and quite a lot of it was flaking off, so I ended up taking it all off. Now that I've come this far, I might as well just sheath it in fiberglass cloth and then it will never uh, come apart again.
So even if I wasn't sheathing it, I'd still put a layer of epoxy on and that's going to seal it all up nicely and make it less likely to soak up water. Just mixing up small amounts of uh, resin just because it's quite a hot day here so I don't want it to run away on me and set. If you mix up a lot of resin it tends to heat up and set quickly especially on a hot day. You can see these all these little cracks in there there's weaknesses in all those cracks and it's it possibly would do it again if you thumped it on a rock or something so um, it's, if I sheath it it's gonna be pretty solid it won't break Get all the air out of it. Oh, well that turned out pretty good. It's all repaired. I gave it a few coats of paint. This is the little sailing boat I bought um, for the kids. It's pretty rough, so I'll have to probably do a bit of work on it and just tidy it up a bit. But yeah, it does float. As you can see, we towed it over behind the bigger boat with the trailer underneath. <laughs> uh, it's going to live here from now on. So we'll take it for a wee, take it for a wee paddle and see how this all holds up. Oh, well, what do you think of the new sailing boat, guys? Mm -hmm. Pretty good, eh? It's called a Seabird 3.8. It's a wee bit windy to learn to sail today for you guys, so we'll... Yeah, maybe tomorrow. So we'll just try out that oar, shall we? See how it holds together. Yep. Well, good. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty strong now. Safe for sailing now, isn't yeah. it? Beautiful. Just a gentle breeze. <laughs> you like sailing? Yeah. Cool. We're gonna get used to it pretty fast. I we can go racing. Maybe when you get a bit older, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go, we're getting a bit more. And we're getting a bit more breeze now. How fast do you think we're going? Five kilometers an hour? Mm -hmm. Maybe about walking speed. How or long? How, it's how fast my little um, 
See, we're moving now, look. Hey, hey, dive! Okay. He dived under! Yeah. He's gone! He's gone! Should we go and explore that island? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. It's a great day for sailing!